So my name is Seng Yeon Han. Um, I'm an associate professor of chemical engineering. Um, I will talk about um, our invention that came out as a result of collaboration between multiple universities, including um, us, UNM, and Harvard, Georgia Tech, and Lehigh. So uh, this invention um, is related to uh, developing a paint pigment um, that has a multi-spectrally controlled um, spectral um, response. Uh, the, the application um, can be diverse, but um, in, in this presentation, I will uh, focus more on building cooling applications. So this is me. Um, and here's my colleague, Seng Han, and um, our colleagues in Georgia Tech here. Um, they, they first developed a certain material um, called, they called the geode, and they contacted uh, my colleague, Seng Han, um, and they had um, a certain application of the material system in, in um, aerosolized electronics, but, um, Sam contacted me and made um, and may, maybe I have an interesting idea on the, the material system. Then then maybe we can we can work together. And I looked at the, the material system and I thought that uh, maybe um, uh, may have an interesting application in cooling paint technology. And we contacted um, Vinit Manoharan um, in in Harvard to have uh, an optical characterization on the, on the colloidal system, on the material system, and then to, to have a really mature paint development, um, we contacted Jim Gilchrist here um, in Lehigh, uh, who is an expert in colloidal science and, and paint technology. So that we, we formed a, a group um, and developed this innovation. So, the, the existing paint um, provides some cooling capability, um, especially it is a high-end product and we have some, some cooling, um, cooling capability, but still the performance is not the best yet. And the color degrades over time and the formulation is complex. So um, our technology um, is called micro ge geode paint. So here in, in our case, we replace pigment with um, our material system, which is called micro geode. So this is geode. Uh, this is a macroscopic scale, but um, um, uh, so, so we, we, we reduced the, the scale of this to about a tens of microns, so that we have microspheres here, and we call this micro geode. Then, uh, as in the macroscopic geode, we have something, some colorful things in the in the inside. We also have nanowires, which controls the visible color of this pigment. So here in the, in the right hand side, you see a lot of nanowires are grown in a, in a random fashion inside the, the um, inside the microgeode. So the advantage of this pigment system is that it can provide up to 25 degrees Celsius temperature reduction compared to existing paint. That um, this temperature reduction will lead to about 47% power savings. Oh. Um, so this was made possible by having um, maximized reflectivity in the near IR and maximized emissivity in the mid IR so that it provides a uh, cooling capability. And at the same time, we have visible color control so that it can be of a paint. So this material system um, is stable and tunable and provides a wide range of colors. And it, we can also um, have a scalable bulk synthesis. This nanowire growth is a, is a very fast process. 
And um, this shell is made of silica, so that it can be compatible with uh, current paint formulations without um, any degradation. So this microgeode paint um, developed by our team can be compared to existing cooling paint technologies, um, such as one that is developed in BASP or PARC. So they provide about seven, seven degrees Celsius below commercial, below commercial paint. Um, in our case, we have a much um, better performance, but at the same time, the manufacturing scalability, color choice, drop in placement, and so on are all, um, we, we don't have any disadvantage compared to the existing paint. Um, so we, um, have a better performance in general. So how does it work? Um, when we compare the spectrum of our microgeode paint here, blue in, in blue, compared to standard paint, what we have achieved is to have a, a minimal near IR reflection here. So that solar spectrum consists of more than 50% um, intensity in the, in the near IR, which, are, which is uh, almost um, completely reflected, that at the same time in the visible, it is observed so that we, we can provide uh, visible color. And it is not shown here, but in the longer wavelengths, we have a very high emissivity in the mid IR so that it channels the heat radiation into the, the atmospheric transparency window so that it can be cooled. So using uh, this spectrum, we can, um, we can see how much temperature reduction can be expected when, uh, when the, the paint is, is coated on the, on the building surfaces. So standard paint uh, reaches up to about 75 degrees Celsius in the hot summer days in Albuquerque. Uh, when we use uh, commercial cooling paint, then we have um, an appreciable reduction in the temperature. But if we use microgeode paint here, then we have almost 25 degrees Celsius um, reduction maximum in the daytime. So it, uh, the temperature is not very far from the ambient air temperature. This was made possible by having multi-spectral control um, with our microgeode system. So how is it made and um, why is it scalable? So we have tens of microns of silica shells, um, which it consists of silica nanoparticles. Then, um, Inside the, the shell, we have gold nanoparticles because the silica nanoparticles um, comprises the, the shell. The, the shell wall is, is permeable to, to gas transport. So then when we have silica precursor gas, um, then the, the, the gas will, will penetrate into the, the core and they will react um, by, cat by being catalyzed by the, the metal nanoparticles so that nanowires grow. It's these nanowires currently we have silicon mostly, but depending on the, uh, the, the, the precursor gas pressure, um, we can control the, uh, the geometry of the, the nanowire along the length direction, um, like, like here. So then we have a um, we have a better control over the the uh, optical properties of um, this microgeode. So we have a large surface area, um, so that um, the, the, the nanowire growth is a, is a fast process, and we are using a fluidized bed reactor uh, for such a growth. So first we uh, need to prepare. Um, the, the silica shell wall, um, then, then we uh, grow the nanowires inside. 
So for the wall, wall formation, we use a double immersion templating method. So in, in water, oil, water system, um, the, the silica particles uh, reside in the, in the oil phase and the metal particles uh, reside in the water phase. So that after we sucking up the oil and water, we have uh, the microcapsule powder which it has um, metal nanoparticles inside and the wall becomes permeable to gas transport. So we can, um, in, the, in the lab scale, uh, we have a, it's like a pilot scale um, reactor. We, we can produce um, um, the, the, the micro shells here. And um, after that, we have this, um, we use this fluidized bed reactor, uh, which was set up by um, a recent fund from NSF MRI. Um, so here are the micro shells are, um, mic micro shells is permeable to, to the gas transport. So the, the gas, um, goes inside and, and grows these, these nanowires. And these nanowires are responsible primarily for the visible color production. And along um, the, the length direction, we, we have a control over the diameter. So that we, um, we program the, the visible color and the, the near IR reflection um, um, by, by controlling the geometry of uh, the nano wires inside and as well as the, um, the shell thickness and the, the uh, microgeode diameter. So we can produce a bunch of colors. Um, to expedite our development, um, we are, um, using multi-scale optical modeling. So that when we have silicon nanowire, we, we have a nanowire, then um, we, we simulate the optical response of a single nanowire. Then we, we simulate um, the collection of randomly oriented nanowires. Then we use that optical property um, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a micro geode then we have a multi-scale modeling. So when, when, when these microgeos are a collection of um, particles, then um, uh, using the, the optical property pro predicted in, in, the, in the single geode, we um, predict the, the, um, the, the color of the collection of the particles so that we, we can, we can sweep the, the, the visible color in the color space. So in, in, a, um, in our recent work, um, we measured um, the optical response, optical reflectance of a single geode under microscope. And we observed that, the, that just one single particle becomes a highly reflective and we measured the, the spectrum and the prediction um, relatively well matches here. I have an improved um, prediction, but I didn't put it here. But anyway, um, we, have a, we have a very um, good match with experiment. And by just buying, by changing the diameter of the nanowires inside, uh, we can uh, produce a bunch of colors more control of colors is, is possible by having a core shell structure. So first we grow nanowires, um, silicon nanowires. Then we, um, we have a different precursor um, gas so that we have a core shell particles or sometimes we have, we have a composition change. So some, uh, for example, we have silicon, germanium, silicon, germanium, and so on. So and then, Further etching may, may have a groove here um, so that we have a um, diverse optical response. 
And these properties can be programmed um, in the, the microgeode. And we, um, we have expertise in our team, especially um, Jim Gilchrist in, in Lehigh University, um, who is an expert in, in, in colloidal science and, 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 and paint formulation. And um, we also have in UNM, we, we also developed a different coding and we have a large area uniform coding. So uh, this, uh, what this idea was conceived in 2016, and we have we um, began getting grant on on this um, on this idea, and we had a first demonstration, and we now are at this stage. So we have a cooling paint concept. Um, so. Uh, then in the next five years, we will uh, develop this microgeode paint, um, including scale up. Yeah, so that, that, this is our um, general plan that we are going to do in the next five years. Right, this, um, so this idea has um, attracted interest from um, several companies, including Dow and PPG. So we are having, um, having meetings next week with PPG and we had already uh, engaged interest in, in Dow. So we are exploring um, industry university collaboration to develop this material system into full mature stage. So I will stop here for my presentation and I will um, ask, uh, I will answer any questions if, if you may have.